what is going on everyone Riddick here and welcome to off the shelf air guns today we're going to be taking a look at the classic tried and true Daisy Red Rider not just any Red Rider but the Christmas Wish Edition Red Rider complete with compass in the stock and this thing that tells time it does come with a little stick for the sundial gold band around the forestock now the one in the movie had a gold band up here too so that's a little different now this is the standard version that you can find at Walmart standard version that you can find at Walmart probably not right now because it is March but it has been out the last couple years in Walmart so for the same price as a regular Red Rider you can get this Christmas Wish Edition which does feature the metal caulking lever of course as we know on the modern Red Riders they change this lever to plastic which is not you know received very well by many and uh, but we're back to the metal caulking lever on this particular one so if anything it's worth the price of admission just so you can have that metal caulking lever back so here it is take a couple shots with it and see what we think there ain't nothing like a good old Red Rider. Oh yeah. We got targets at 10 yards and 25 yards, so. We were shooting at the 10 yard, let's try 25. See if the old Red Rider can hit the old 25 yard target. Not that one. Hmm. Can it be done? It's a little windy. Hmm. Maybe not. We gotta get it. We got it. How about that? It is a little windy. The Red Rider doesn't like the wind. Back to the 10 yard targets. Oop. Oh yeah. Just having the Red Rider in your hands just brings you back to your childhood, you know? The good old days. So there it is. Of course, you know, it does have a fixed sight on the front. Buckhorn sight on the back that's only adjustable for elevation. Yeah, the good old Red Rider. Still built very well. Still built very well. This still is a wood stock, wood four stock. You know, all metal receiver and barrel and all that stuff. But as we know on the normal standard model, they changed the caulking lever to plastic, which it just feels cheap, you know. This feels right. And yeah, you know, as a kid growing up in the 80s, I, even then, people before your time will tell you they weren't made the same even then. But I think back then they were made, you know, really well. And I do remember it lasting a long time. I wish I would have kept that in good shape and still had it, but I don't. I don't, unfortunately. But it wasn't the Christmas Wish Edition, which I really wanted to when I was a kid after seeing the movie. So here it is right here. If you can still find them at your Walmart, grab one. It's well worth the price of admission at, what, $29, $30, something like that. Uh, if you can find it online, at Walmart online maybe, get it there as well. Like I said, just for the metal caulking lever alone, 
it's well worth it because you're going to spend the same price on the standard version and not get that metal caulking lever. Um, of course Daisy makes higher end versions of this Christmas edition Red Rider that they've put out for a lot more money obviously but this is the standard hopefully it keeps hopefully it's like a recurring thing every year at Walmart where they they put these out because it's kinda nice to see them in stores and just be able to go pick one up on this channel we're gonna cover various different types of air guns that are in the budget category we would say and when I say budget I'm talking like 300 and below so you get some pretty good air guns at that price range but we're just discussing things that are in the 300 range or below. We're not going like with the super crazy stuff. That's not what this channel is about. This channel is about walking into a store, walking into your local big box store, sporting goods store, finding something on the shelf, bringing it home and having some fun in your backyard. That's what this channel is about. Now some of this stuff obviously you may not find in stores. You may have to order it and I'll always provide you with where to go and links in the description when that is the case much like this if I find a link that still has this at the standard retail price I'll put a link below and then of course we'll go over like different types of ammo for air guns and targets and target ideas and things like this uh, you know mostly it's going to be .177 caliber unless we get like a 22 caliber pellet rifle which we may look at down the road. I have a couple. I have a couple I do want to look at. So, yeah, that's what's going to be going on on this channel. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you all down the road.